This is Geraint Thomas's Pinarello, Pinarello Labs, Belide TT time trial bike. Let's start at the top for the build of this one where he is running a Physique Arioni R1 saddle. Interestingly, that is a different saddle from the one that he runs on his road bike. And also there are a couple of silver marker points up on the top of the saddle that the mechanics have put there just so that they can make sure G's position is dialed in to the millimeter for any upcoming time trials. Moving forward from the saddle is possibly the coolest part on the bike and one of the coolest bike parts I think I've ever seen. G is using custom, and of course they're custom, 3D printed titanium aero bars. Yeah, very, very, very cool. The advantage of using these bars is not just that you can make a set of handlebars fit your perfect time trial position, it is that they are made exactly around your perfect time trial position. So they are literally going to make him as aerodynamic as possible. They're probably pretty light and how cool is that? You have a one-of-a-kind set of handlebars made for you. Other 3D printed tie details on the bars are the brake lever blades, which again, I think they're pretty pimp. More advantages of having the 3D printed bars is that they are one piece, which means that they're going to be stiffer and probably more comfortable than they would be if you'd got a ton of spaces in there. Finally, and this just goes to show the level of attention to detail, is the 3D printed Garmin mount that sticks out front. This is genuinely so, so cool. Onto the things that are attached to his 3D printed titanium handlebars, we've got some custom cut foam armrests, some skateboard grip tape here, lighter, sleeker than handlebar grip tape might be, and then we've got Shimano Dura-A shifters on the extensions, these both operate the rear mech, and on the bull horns, we've got some very custom carbon fiber Shimano Dura-A buttons, so front mech, rear mech on this one. The shifters link up to the slightly older Shimano Dura-Ace Di2 front mech and rear mech, and the chain set is Shimano Dura-Ace, and again, that is the previous generation. Pedals are also Shimano Dura-Ace, as are the wheels. These wheels are a stand-in. We actually just asked the mechanics for this bike at the last minute. Usually, it might have a tri-spoke in the front and a pro disc wheel at the back. The brakes are integrated into the frame, so they are by Pinarello. The bottle cage is by Elite, like all of the bottle cages on Team Sky, and it actually nestles right down at the lower end of the frame, and they've done a lot of work on the aerodynamics of bottle cages because you need to stay hydrated in long time trials, but you also need to be aerodynamic if you want to win them. The other aero shapes on the frame are, as you would expect from such a high-end time trial bike, just stunning, very, very cool to look at. There are a couple of things that I've spotted, I think I should point out though. One thing that I think is very cool, and it is, the most minor of minor details on this bike is the Team Sky sticker that's used to mark saddle height. I think that's very on brand. When I was looking for G's crank length, I spotted that the mechanics have literally cut no corners in their efforts to make this bike as aero as possible because they've taped over the pedal bolt holes on the back of the cranks here. Just, again, insane levels of detail there. The power meter on the bike is stages and that is dual sided. The chain rings that he's got set up on it currently are 42 inner, 55 outer and his crank length is 175 millimeters. I hope you've enjoyed looking at Geraint Thomas's Pinarello, Pinarello Labs Belide TT bike with the custom printed handlebars. I have, I just think, yeah, it's just astounding. If you'd like to subscribe to GCN, there is a button to do that on screen now, and there is also a link to our shop to see Matt Stevens go head to head with some off the wall challenges with Geraint Thomas. Click right there and see another Team Sky Pro bike just click down there. Finally, give this video a thumbs up and hit the share button too. And let us know what you think in the comments.